For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith. On Tuesday, GQ Magazine would release a profile interview featuring Donald Glover, where he would finally break his silence on the Tyler Perry parody he did in the final season of Atlanta. In the interview, Glover revealed that he toured Tyler Perry Studios with Perry himself, and that's where Glover told him his plans of spoofing Perry in an episode of Atlanta. If you guys aren't familiar, the episode of Atlanta's fourth season that parodies Mr. Perry is called Work Ethic, and it follows Van making her acting debut in a TV series which is filming at Chocolate Land, a giant TV and movie studio created by mogul Kirkwood Chocolate, better known as Mr. Chocolate. Mr. Chocolate creates programming for black audiences. A lot of people love the work of Mr. Chocolate, but his work does get criticism for its stereotypical and derogatory portrayals of black people. Van's daughter Lottie gets a role in the show and soon becomes the lead actress after several on-the-spot rewrites. After Van has trouble keeping up with her daughter, she eventually meets Mr. Chocolate, played by Donald Glover himself, in the same way he betrayed Teddy Perkins a few seasons prior. Mr. Chocolate reveals to Van that he doesn't even know what the next scene is going to be and is improv on the spot himself. Calling the police. I own the police. And most of College Park. Well, you can't just take somebody's- I CAN DO WHATEVER I WANT! Critics quickly noted that Mr. Chocolate was an obvious spoof of Tyler Perry. The GQ interviewer asked Glover if he checked on Perry since the episode aired. Glover said, I don't know how he took it. I texted him once, I think, for something. I didn't hear back. That's the thing about being black. It becomes so personal, so fast. I'm not shitting on you. The conversation then transitioned to possibly offending people while creating. Glover continued, I'm not a politician. I'm an artist. And I'm good. I'm a good artist. That's the difference. If I didn't think I was a good artist, then I'd be like, maybe I shouldn't do this. But this is nuanced and funny. If somebody did that about me, I'd be like, that's good. He has a right to not feel that way. Glover added, I hope Tyler understands. I still want to shoot at his studio someday. Now. Tyler Perry being upset at being parodied is something that's not new. Back in 2010, the Boondocks aired an episode called Pause, where they took on Tyler Perry and his contributions as well. The episode proved to be so controversial, the Los Angeles Times reported that Perry got in touch with studio executives at Turner Broadcasting, the company that owns Cartoon Network and aired both House of Pain and Meet the Browns at the time. He did this to express his displeasure in the episode. Pause was banned on Adult Swim after Perry's complaint and wasn't initially available on streaming platforms. That all changed in 2020 when the episode became available once again on Adult Swim and streaming services like HBO Max. After the Atlanta episode Work Ethic aired in November 2022, critics praised how Atlanta chose to satirize the way we consume black art. Van is not a fan of Mr. Chocolate's work and only shows up for the paycheck. Despite Van consistently talking down on the art, there are clearly millions of people who love what Mr. Chocolate has done, including building a TV studio and employing many black people. The episode makes us ask the challenging questions like, is it fair to say someone is creating bad art if they're also contributing to black progress via employment and opportunities? Is it bad art if millions of people think it's good? Writer of Work Ethic, Janine Neighbors, spoke out shortly after too and told fans that although Mr. Chocolate does resemble Tyler Perry, the character is actually a combination of many different producers in Hollywood. There's an aesthetic when it comes to black folk and art that I think some people really double down on. I think Mr. Chocolate is not just one person. He represents many different people in Hollywood that kind of have this similar aesthetic of blackness and art and the stories that we tell and what resonates with being a compelling black story or a real black story. What do you guys think of Atlanta's parody of Tyler Perry? Does Tyler have a reason to be upset or offended? Let us know in the comments below. And stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel, follow Comedy Hype across all social media, and look out for our new streaming service. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Dom Smith.